uh, hi this is Henry again they are telling us that uh, if you have coordinate A having X and then Y that X Y that when the gradient is equal to 3 over 2 or 1 and a half find the value of X and so going by the formula we'll say gradient is equal to the change in Y divided by the change in x we call that delta okay this will represent x that will represent y okay that will represent x of 2 y of 2 okay we already have the m as 3 over 2 they want us to find x and so let's compute it's more like saying 3 over 2 we already have and then we can take away whichever starting from here going the other way okay so you can say I can say 2 okay 2 take away 8 over X take away 10 and then this becomes an equation where we can solve for X can cross multiply okay to look like this we are multiplying 3 okay from that one and then here already we know it's a negative of 6 small number take away big number you put a negative put a negative and then you start from here 8 take away 2 that is a 6 and so we'll have 3 okay we'll have a negative of 12 right here I won't expand I'll just divide through okay 3 3 that one goes and then I only have the x take away 10 being equal to a negative of 4. Seeing how it has simplified. x will therefore equal to a negative 4 being added to, to 10. They are going by the inter integers or going by the Cartesian plane, going by the, yeah, you can say, Okay. So even if we were to plot the x and y's on the Cartesian plane, it would still give us the dy dx of 3 over 2. Therefore, our value is 6. x is equal to 6. We do some more. Okay. There is also midpoint, there is distance formula. They is proving whether the lines are perpendicular, they are parallel, where you multiply the m1 by the m2 to get negative of 1. And so, we can say, let's go to the midpoint. The midpoint formula goes by adding the two values of x when the other one is that dividing by 2 adding the two values of y okay then dividing by 2 if that is our formula then we will use it to answer the following questions find the mp in this in this place in this case we are referring to midpoint or mp of the following When we have a negative of 3 as x, 10, this is our a, and our b is, okay, 6, and that is 2. Okay, then we are adding the two values of x. If this is x1, definitely that one is x2. y1, y of 2. And so, going by the formula, we want the midpoint 
I will therefore say I'm adding the values of x dividing by 2 and then I'm adding the values of y okay and then dividing by 2 definitely here you say here is 3 negative 3 3 steps to the negative 6 steps to the positive therefore you have that here you have 10 plus 2 is 12 divide by 2 You're getting half of 12 that becomes your MP or the midpoint okay okay let's change let's change so they can give you the midpoint meaning of the coordinates that they've given you they're saying find the midmost coordinates so let's say this is a okay one comma two okay from there there is another coordinate v one comma one we are trying to find the midmost the midmost okay suppose that was a line okay the, the center is more like the midmost such that such that the distance here will be the same okay and so we are adding the two values of x and dividing them by two in order to get the the midpoint and say one plus one on the x remember the midpoint formula you are adding the two values of x dividing them by two the values of y dividing them by two if this is your x y this is your x y okay and so to get the midmost we are adding these two Therefore, MP or midpoint we equal to 1 plus another 1 divide by 2. You have your 2 plus 1 divide by 2. Okay? And so your MP, the midpoint, we equal to, you're adding 1 plus 1, then dividing by 2, you're still going back. 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 2. We can leave it like this. Or we can write 1 and a half. Okay. What else? The gradient. The gradient. The gradient of two equations. Given that... The other one we call it M1, the other one we call it M2. When we multiply them and they give us a negative one, then those two are perpendicular. We call them perpendicular to each other. Okay? And remember, parallel lines have got equal gradients. Lines that are parallel... have equal gradients so in an equation we can cite an example if they say x okay they say x plus y being equal to 8 okay and then there is this one one is equal to okay, x plus plus uh, 16 there is this one and then there is this one if they say show whether the the lines show whether these two equations are whether the equations Okay. Ah, uh, parallel, perpendicular. Okay. Or neither. Okay. The 
if we, sh we, we need to show this, remember we'll go back to the general equation of a line. For us to determine whether the gradient of a line is this, we have to make y the subject. Look at this one. So we have to make y the subject and say y is therefore equal to a negative of x. And the, that will be like that. This one is already, this one is already, you know, the y has already been made subject. And then look at the, la, the, the, pepin, uh, the, the coefficient of x. Here the coefficient is neg 1, meaning it's our gradient 1. Okay? Here, here, the coefficient of x is 1. Therefore, this becomes our m2. Now, if we multiply the two gradients, m1 by m2, are we going to be able to get negative 1? Remember, m1, m2. If we multiply, if m1 is a negative 1, m2 is a 1. If we get a negative 1, then these two, these two, these two equations are perpendicular. That's the answer there. Okay.